Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It is Win It Wednesday. I think I'm like a minute or two early. Super excited to be with you. Come on in, slow your scroll. I just want to set my table up so that you guys can see me. Hope you're doing well. Did you guys have a good Easter? Come on in. Hey. I am gonna just pull it up so that I could share with you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Um, today we're talking about, are you a mom? Do you know any moms? Right? We all know moms because we wouldn't be here if we didn't have some sort of a mom, right? Perfect. Okay, good. All right. I just wanted to make sure you guys could see me. All right. So a few of you are on here. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Glenda. Um, who else is here? Live chat. Let me know where you're watching in from. I am coming to you live from Southern California, where I live. Um, this is Win It Wednesday. So how many of you are new to Win It Wednesday? Is this your very first time? Win It Wednesday? Um, let me know. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Linda. Hello from Tampa. So if this is your first time on Win It Wednesday, um, I'll tell you how it works. So you're going to answer my question. So what has got you into the Bad Moms Club, <laughs> if anything? Um, maybe you're not a member of the Bad Moms Club, but um, I think it's kind of fun and cheeky, you know, bad, proud member of the Bad Moms Club. So today we are going to make a project um, with this stencil. And it is actually um, kind of getting us ready to think about Mother's Day, which is, if you can't believe, is May 14th already. We're going to make a reusable tote bag, which also is in alignment with April because April is Earth Day month. April 22nd is Earth Day. So to protect the earth and to minimize waste, rather than using plastic bags at the grocery store running errands, we can create a reusable tote bag, right? So that is... Um, a fun thing that we can do um, with our tote bag and you know so many of our stencils can be used to make the tote bags we sell um, some canvas tote bags um, through our site and then we're going to use of course some of our permanent ink today to make our tote bag I have some squeegees and I also have um, actually a little accessory tool one of the five accessories that you can get um, in a pack and then I also have our ink mat. So we're going to go through and I'll show you how to use all that. But the way that you <laughs> can win it on Win It Wednesday is by answering the question of, have you ever done anything to earn you into the Bad Moms Club? <laughs> so for example, I'm a bad mom <laughs> because um, I would purge like my daughter's room every once in a while. And, you know, they have things that you're like, okay, they don't really play with this or need this. So um, I would donate it or get rid of it, but I wouldn't tell her. And then all of a sudden she'd be asking me, hey, mom, do you know where so-and-so is? And I'm like, oh, geez, no, I don't know. Did you check here or there? Even though I knew that it was gone because I got rid of it. So I don't know. Comment below. Is there anything you've done <laughs> that says you're like earned you um, into the bad moms club? Um, I'm trying to think, is there any more things dramatic than that? Um, once I have this interesting story I'll share with you is that, um, our house locked from the outside, but when you open the door, it went, um, you could open the door. Right. And I learned very quickly as a mom, you have to not have that situation. So outside it was locked inside. You could open and close the door without adjusting the lock. So when my daughter was like three or four, she went out the door um, cause, and it was like probably at like six 30 in the morning, she got up out of bed. Um, she must've left something in the car. So she thought it'd be no problem just to get up out of bed, walk out the door to go to the car to get something, but then couldn't get back in cause the door was locked and I'm sleeping. It's like six 30 in the morning maybe. Um, and my poor kids out there banging on the door to get in. I didn't know she was even out there until the neighbor had to come. <laughs> knock on the, my window where at my bedroom, thank goodness, we're on the, the main floor, like to let my daughter in because they heard her screaming from next door. I mean, that's kind of a bad mom. So I don't know. <laughs> um, so uh, 
when you comment below or you share your stories, right? We can all relate it. We got to give some grace. We do the best we can, right? Um, I'm going to raffle off. We're going to give away this on Win It Wednesday. Um, first, my mother, forever my friend. That's what you're going to win. Um, this stencil is retired, no longer valuable, but it's such a beautiful um, message for our moms um, to thank them for, you know, being with us um, and then also being our friend. In, uh, alongside being our moms and some of us are um, fortunate that we still have our moms other of us have lost our moms and their angels watching over us in heaven some of us have um, mom figures who aren't um, biologically our moms but have played a key role in our life so um, you know with this today we're gonna honor all moms and just get you start thinking about like why don't you make mom something fun for Mother's Day right what are you gonna give your mom that lets her know that you made it with your heart and your hands. To me, I think even as a mom, those are always the, my most favorite gifts. How about you? What do you guys think? Um, I feel like those are the most meaningful um, gifts. And I can see you guys are commenting. I can't wait to read these. Um, the Tooth Fairy. Oh, my goodness. She found that, that you were the Tooth Fairy. Oh, my goodness. I, as a Bad Moms Club, forgot one night about the Tooth Fairy she got up in the morning like I forgot to put it under her pillow for some reason I like had every intention and then you know that's that's funny to you making me think of all the ways I was a bad mom but <laughs> um, only have fur babies oh Michael only has fur babies oh I don't know maybe something you did something to your fur babies that they didn't like right <laughs> bad mom because you left your daughter at church asleep yeah that would be something I would do, right? Kind of dumb thing. Went part way home with your other two. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, so anyhow, this is just in good fun. We're just having some fun playing along today um, with, you know, what things. Um, so Diane says, when her kids reach junior high school, if they left dirty dishes in the sink, you put them in their beds so they have to change their sheets after they cleaned up after themselves. Oh my goodness, that is pretty funny. So I want to know all about the, the, the ways you are a proud member of the Bad Moms Club. So um, this is what we're going to make today. I like this. This is going to be my tote that I'm going to make uh, for taking to like Trader Joe's or when I go shopping. But I am going to start with this tote um, bag. And actually, um, I'm going to iron it first because it's kind of wrinkled. So I'm going to just, I have my iron here. And... First thing we're going to do is just iron it. And you know what? I'm actually just going to use my tacky towel. I have my, um, oh, I just lost my little uh, accessory thing. But I'm just going to put this on here. Because what we want to do is make sure that this is smooth surface. When we put our stencil on, it's not wrinkled. So I just had my iron on high. And I'm just going to iron my um, tote bag. And we're going to need the iron after we make our tote bag because we are going to set heat set the ink with um, the iron. So what you're going to want to do is to, the ink is permanent ink. And if we want to wash this tote bag or really set the ink just to make sure it doesn't fade or rinse off, we're going to set the ink using the same iron that we used to get out the wrinkles. So how's that? Does that look? Um, it's a little bit wrinkled, but hey, it's a tote bag. It's not like we're wearing it to wedding or Easter Sunday. Um, I always hate the creases, right, from when they make something. It's always the hardest to get them out. So now that we have that, I'm going to turn my iron off so I don't accidentally knock it. Um, how do I turn it off? Oh, there we go. Um, turn it off, maybe? Off. Okay, there we go. I'm back. So, again, um, we're raffling today's question. You guys laughing? Hey, Renee's. Um, member of the Bad Moms Club. So, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to take our ink mat. The ink mat is a great accessory to have for when you're using ink because what it does is it puts a layer of protection between the two pieces of fabric in your surface, two pieces of fabric or the fabric in your surface. But what's also good about it is it's sticky, right? So what it does is it holds our uh, bag in place. It's gonna hold 
the fabric from moving because as we put pressure on and apply the ink, we don't want the um, fabric to move, right? Um, we want to keep it. So I'm just going to put my ink mat in here and flatten it out, smooth it, get all the creases out, right? And I actually have to come up a little bit more because actually I did it too quick without even thinking. So this is a horizontal. So I'm going to put my ink mat in horizontally. I didn't do that. You guys got me all distracted with uh, talking about the ways we're a bad mom. <laughs> I cannot wait to go back and read all the comments. I know I can't read some of them while you're posting, but if you're just joining us, it's Win It Wednesday. And the way you get in it to win it is by commenting and answering the question of the day. Um, and then also maybe sharing it, tagging a mom. Come on, you got to have a friend who's a member of the Bad Moms Club with you because maybe you did something together, right? <laughs> As bad moms. Like um, little fibs we tell our kids so that they stop asking questions, right? Stuff like that. <laughs> so this is the Bad Moms Club. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make mine with black ink and copper because I thought that would be kind of cool to do. So when we're using a stencil and using ink on fabric, you don't need to fudge your stencil. How many of you are new to the page or this is the first time you're stopping by? Anybody? Just give me hashtag, um, hashtag new to Magnolia. So our stencils um, are reusable. They come on a backer sheet and you want to keep the backer sheet because we're going to be able to reuse it. Ink, you're going to want to make sure that you rinse off um, and don't let the ink dry in the fine mesh because it can clog the mesh. So you can see here like the fine mesh. So we're going to have a reverse um, negative white space. Wherever the white space is, that's where our color is going to come out. So all I'm going to do is just take my um, stencil here, put it in the center of my tote bag, and you just want to make sure that you get it nice contact with the fabric and a lot of times when I'm using um, ink and I have little words or fine lines you really want to take extra time and go over it and really make sure sometimes I'll even take a clean squeegee and just squeegee over the stencil just to make sure that it's stuck and it will minimize any bleeding that we have from the ink because what's going to happen is the ink if we put too much pressure on the ink or we use too runny of an ink or we you know you don't really want to be adding water to your ink even though it is a water-based product um, you don't want it to bleed through um, the stencil and like bleed into the fabric right so let's um, Hey, Teresa Hayes. Hey, Nancy. Renee said you threw away your grandson's favorite toy and lie. That's what I said. Didn't know what happened to it. LOL, that was my same thing. I don't know what happened to it. Even though you did know what happened to it. All right. How funny. Oh, my goodness. So <laughs> Renee doesn't want to incriminate herself. I am going to incriminate myself. So... I'm going to use, I love this copper, um, glittering copper ink, and I thought it would be really fun with the black, but I had a dilemma, and I want your opinion. So, like, I was thinking, since I had the glittering copper, do I want the glittering black? But to me, the glittering black is black, but it's a little bit lighter. It's gray, and actually, I'm thinking I like the contrast of the um, copper in the dark black versus the copper in, like, almost the gray. What do you guys think? Which one do you think I should do? What do you guys think? Black or the glittering black? Basic black or glittering black? So I just am curious what you think. I think I am going with the dark black in here. I think so too, right, Linda? It just has more of a contrast. So what I was going to do is I was going to do the outside in the black. And then I was going to do bad moms in the copper. But do you think I should do the bad in black and just the moms in copper? 
Hmm. Ooh, Kathy says she wants the glitter. Linda says glitter. Kathy says dark black. Linda says dark black. Kind of 50-50. Oh, Rose says glittery. Glitter. Michael says glittery too. Huh. I liked the contrast of the, the, the dark black and the glitter. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. Um, but of course, when you make yours, the beautiful thing is you, can, you have options. Choose what you want. Um, mom and copper, should I do bad in black or copper? I was thinking just mom and copper and the rest in black. Or bad moms in copper. It's always so hard, right? Mom and copper. Margaret's saying the glitter too. Oh gosh, you guys are really on team glitter. Well, I'm going to use the glitter for the moms. Um, so let's do the outside first and see how it looks. And then, um, oh, I got a little bit of junk on my squeegee. So with the ink, you don't need to load a lot on your, um, you don't need to load a lot. And my ink is almost out. So I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. Um, just so that I can get a little bit on my... So you want clean hands. Now, a tip is if you tend to be somebody who's going to drag it, you can also put tape on the outside to make sure you don't go over your stencil. But I'm going to be careful today. I'm not just going to go crazy on mine. Um, and the other thing is you don't want to... Um, get any on your surface so make sure your hands are clean um, again if you're using ink it's a medium pressure kind of a light hand you don't really want to put too much pressure but you want to have enough so that you actually coat the um, fabric so we're just going to go around Getting enough here. And again, we got a really nice contact with the stencil. You want to be careful not to overlap onto the part. You're going to do a different color. Scraping off any excess that we have. There. So this is going to be fun to do, easy project to do. I almost got it on the... I was going to use my little smaller stencil for the little lines, but I dropped it. <laughs> so I'm just going with the regular squeegee and just putting it on again. Doesn't need a lot of product on the squeegee, just enough to make sure we get good coverage. Just going along here. And if you're just joining us too, um, welcome. Let us know where you're watching from and how you've earned your initiation into the Bad Moms Club. So I'm thinking, do the bad and black. What do you guys think? I'm thinking the, hmm, it's always the hardest. Um, um I think I'm going to do the bad in black. I'm committed now. And yeah, when you're using two colors, sometimes it's hard. Um, you just got to be careful that you just go up to the line with it. And sometimes, though, if people want to bleed it together, you can do that. It's kind of a fun technique, like a hot mess where you can just smear the ends together and like kind of feather it or blend them together if you want to get creative with color. But right here, we definitely want it. Um, so I think we're good. 
So there we go. We got the black done. I'm just going to cover this up. And now we're going to do the copper. And maybe I do want the little stencil, little squeegee here. Just to do it around the black because I don't want to pick up any of the black with it. And actually, I'm just going to take a little bit of ink off the cap. Um, just to do the top, just to do right where it's close to the black because I don't want to grab any black in here. So I'm just going to use it around the edges where there's some black that I could be at risk. Ah, I just got it on the black. So all I'm doing is scraping it up. Now, the good thing is I got the copper on the black, which means that if it doesn't come off, I could always um, go over it with the black. Because what's cool about ink is once you um, let it dry, you can always go back over it. Right? So again, I'm just trying to use the copper right through here, a little small. There we go. And with ink, we have a little more working time than chalk to prevent it from drying in. But I'm just, again, going around just the edges real. We'll see how that comes out. I don't know how that's going to come out, but we'll figure it out together, won't we? I like kind of sometimes like it when I have little boo-boos on here because I think, you know, as crafters, we want to know how to fix something, right? Because not everything always goes perfect. You know, you get on here and you're like, every time they get it perfect. That's not real life. Just like being a mom. <laughs> We're not perfect all the time, right? Um, let's just do that. Get my little squeegee again to get into this little area close to the black. I think it's going to look so cool with the black and copper. What do you guys think? Again, get off any excess because you don't want lines. If you don't scrape off the excess, sometimes it'll just be heavy and you'll see the little lines from your squeegee. So you just want to make sure. You get it in, get it on. Let's see, I got one more area that I probably should have went, I didn't use my little So as I'm sitting here doing it, I'm like, am I sticking my tongue out? Do you guys, when you craft or when you concentrate on something, like I always just stick my tongue out like that. But ever since I've started going live, I've had to curb that. So, all right. So I think we got it. The only thing I'm a little worried about is this area here. But I'm not going to be too worried about it. So now doo -doo 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 -doo, we get to what? Come on, what's, what do we get to do? We get to peel and reveal. So let's peel and reveal our, see, oh, maybe I got it on here too good. <laughs> there we go. We're going to da -da -da, peel and reveal. Oh my gosh, I love it. Whoop, whoop. There we go. So I'm going to put this in water. I have a little water bath next to me that um, I definitely want to make sure you put your stencil in water 
right after you use ink. Um, that way it won't dry in the mesh and then of course you can reuse it. You want to put your cap on. I love how it came out. Bad Moms Club. Doesn't it look cute? Thanks, Kathy. So let's bring it up. Oh. What do you guys think? Bad Moms Club, right? So this is a really cute tote. So I'll be able to put it on. Whoop. Use it as a reusable, recyclable tote. You know, of course, it's Earth Day coming up April 22nd, so we have a reusable tote. Plus, it's also a really cute um, gift. This would be super fun, wouldn't it be, to get your girlfriends together? Who are your girls that are in the Bad Moms Club with you, <laughs> right? You guys can all be carrying around a tote, make it your own um, color. Basically, we have the um, the ink mat inside. I'm going to leave it in there while it dries, but once it dries for 24 hours, I'm just going to take a piece of parchment, put it over it. I'm going to grab my iron to heat set it for about a minute on high, a um, couple of minutes just to heat set it. And then of course this permanent ink, we can wash it in the dryer, uh, wash and dryer, put it in the washer and dryer. Um, this is also great. Of course, we did it on this um, tote bag, but of course you do it on a t-shirt. You could do it on a hanging banner. You can do it um, on lots of different fabric surfaces. Um, I've even seen people do them like on book covers and using our stencils and different things. So hopefully um, this inspired you to do a fun little project um, with our stenciled. Um, is it upside down? It's not upside down on mine. Um, I don't, right? It just looks that way because it's on Facebook. But again, lots of time to get in it to win it. Comment below what you've done to initiate yourself into the Bad Moms Club. Um, maybe tag a friend who's also in the Bad Moms Club, share this with them, and then we're gonna raffle off and give away one of our retired stencils that you can't get anymore. That's first my mother, forever my friend. And today, we actually launched some new minis, Mother's Day minis are on our site, so you can go check those out. And we also have some grads. You guys have uh, family members, friends who are graduating this year. We came out with um, the class of 2023. And then if you're a creator, our creators had a sneak peek of some new stencils that came out. The tassel is worth the hassle. Uh, we have peace, love, and mom. And then we also have tired as a mother <laughs> um, new stencils. So you can ask your creator for a preview of those. Those are going to be launching to customers next week. But this week, um, Mother's Day minis and um, class of 2023 is available. Um, for you to grab as well as some of these fun um, Mother's Day uh, stencils that you can make your own personalized tote bag, share it with the mom or mom figure in your life, or treat yourself to just a fun um, craft activity you can do. It's also really cute for the kids. Um, kids can do this with the stencils, make it really easy. So if you want to make something special for their grandma or their aunt or um, a neighborhood mom or maybe their caregiver, um, lots of great ideas. So hopefully I inspired you today. Um, thank you for stopping by. And uh, we will see you on Friday live at 5. Um, have a great Wednesday. Don't forget to answer our question and tag somebody who's in the Bad Moms Club with you. All right, guys. Have an amazing day. Bye.